everybody. Welcome to Thursday. I look like poo day. Um, I am on my way to get my boobies cremated. But I haven't felt good this morning. I just don't feel good. So I'm trying to drink some water and maybe I'm dehydrated or something. I know I don't drink enough and I'm trying to change that. So now that I'm up and out of the house, I feel a little better. I don't know. Um, I'm wearing a new shirt today. I got this at the buckle a few months back. And I like it because it has longer sleeves. Hold on. So here's what it looks like, kind of, sort of. And I really, really like it. It's really comfortable. It's rayon, so I have to hang dry. But I love it. I just love it. So one of you is asking what I use to hold my phone up in the car. It's that. It's just a rubbery thing that just sits there. I can totally move it. It's just a piece of rubber. I got it at TJ Maxx for I think five or six or seven dollars. So, and then the phone just sits there, but when you press on the gas or stop, it has your phone has a tendency to tilt and fall out. So it's not the greatest, but it works. I used to live in here. Those were fun condos. Here we are, we're at the Breast Care Center. See, they even make it pink for us. Okay, let's go in. It's party time. Well, that was fun. I was in and out in like five minutes and my boobies hurt so bad you don't even know. I'm on my way to the grocery store. What? I need to get some prescriptions and then I need sour cream, Italian dressing, and whatnot. It is such a nice day today. It's only 75 degrees. I freaking just put the prescriptions on my debit card and not the credit card. Now I'm gonna have to have Daryl pay me back. I don't even remember what I need. I didn't bring my list. So I'm just gonna buy a few things. So sue me. I made it home and it's 4.30. Oh my gosh, I am so exhausted. I'm just tired. So I'm not even gonna do like a real grocery haul, but I'll show you what all I got. It's just a little. So I got hamburger and hot dog buns. I am gonna put these in the freezer because I'm tired of eating one or two buns and then throwing them away because they go moldy. We don't eat enough, you know, to use them all up in time. I bought four of my favorite key lime pie Chobani yogurts. I bought a little baby milk in case I need to use it. I bought one last time and I never used it, but we'll see. And I bought some sour cream. And then in here, I bought a three pack of wipes. I should have got these at Walmart, but what can I say? And I got um, some lemon pledge. 
It reduces allergens while dusting. Three times better removal of dust. So it's just furniture spray. I got some clarifying shampoo. Daryl and I both need this, but especially Daryl. He puts crew in his hair, and so he needs this. So I got just that. I think I manhandled my peaches, and so now they're going to be all bruised. But I got four white flesh peaches, and I am going to eat two at a time because... They're kind of small after you cut all the skin off. No matter how careful I try to be, I, you know. So they're going to be ready to eat. So I'm going to eat four or two at a time. That way they won't go bad. They won't have time to go bad. And then I bought two cases of raspberries. These were six for ten, but there's just no way I could eat six of these. So I just got two. I got me some Skinny Pop. Should have got this at the Sam's Club, but I forgot. I got the last bag of just the plain. I got some reduced fat wheat thins. And then I also got some chocolate chip Teddy Grahams. Um, my mom and I are going to be going to the hospital a lot next week. My stepdad's having surgery. And he goes in Monday and will be there for a week or two weeks and then possibly staying at a rehab facility after that so snack time at the hospital so I'll be like packing a big old thing of snacks picked up some prescriptions um I did not buy ice cream for Daryl because he eats it too quickly but I did get a pack of this Betty Crocker oatmeal chocolate chip cookie mix and a regular chocolate chip cookie mix. We just got new neighbors next door and I know I'm going to have to go over there and give them some cookies. I don't know. Or I guess I could just take them over there like this and say here's your cookies. Welcome to the neighborhood. Biatch! And then I got Daryl his Zesty Italian. I like the Bright and Rustic because this one is kind of sweet. It's really nice. And then I decided to get Thousand Island. I do not like this on my salads. However, this is good to dip your fries in or your tater tots in. It's like fry sauce. But it's also good to put on your taco salads. Like when you make your hamburger, your taco meat, and you, you mix up all your tomatoes and lettuce and beans and whatnot and then you um drizzle some of this on and you crunch up some corn chips that's good i haven't had it in a long long time so yeah that's what that's for and actually i saw somebody on youtube that made a salad and did that and i forgot who it was it was just recently so if it was you, thanks for the idea. I forgot all about it. And then I had to get myself some of these kisses because I can never be kissed enough. Um, These are the tortilla chips I got. These are so darn good. They're gluten-free. These were $2 at my grocery store, but I think Walmart has them for a dollar and change. These are restaurant chips, and I'm not kidding. They're a tad bit greasy, but they're crisp and crunchy, and they are total restaurant. Would I lie to you? Would I lie? These are total restaurant style chips. They taste exactly like when you go to the rest, a Mexican restaurant and they give you a basket of chips. These are it. Go get you some. I got some Cheetos so that I can pack these to the hospital in case we don't have enough snacks. And then I got some regular Lay's potato chips because we're almost out. And I think that's all. Yeah, that's all. Now I get to put it all away.
I'll make my own chip. I'll make my own chip shelf. I'd be like, this is my chip shelf, not your chip shelf. You go to your chip shelf and leave my chip shelf alone. It's, he starts one loaf of bread without finishing the other loaf. Seriously. I have this many raspberries left in my old pouch. These are so good. much of this which I got a couple weeks ago my peach lemonade but I didn't buy another one put my yogurt away oh I still have one yogurt left so that means I have five See, I have these buns from a week and a half ago, and they're still fine. There's no mold or anything, but since they expired, Daryl won't eat them. So, I'm just chock chucking them. So, the next batch is going in the freezer. Gonna get my hat. I'm gonna get my cat and we're gonna go sit outside cause that's where it's at. Come on, Lola. She's gonna come around in. Yay! There you go. It's only 75 degrees today, so it's perfect to just catch some sun. Look, all that rusty water fell out of this chair from the rain. I tipped it like this and it all came out of these and it left marks. Nice. Hopefully it comes off. The wind is blowing. Yes it is. So I guess I'm going to lay my booty on the bed. I'm washing, I changed the sheets and I'm washing the blankets. Yeah. I love when you get fresh, clean blankets and sheets. It just smells and feels so good. For dinner tonight, we're having, we're having quesadillas and chips and guacamole. So here's Daryl's quesadilla. It's got onions and cheese in it.
So we made guacamole. It's so good. Mm, I guess I could have put more cheese in mine, but. Oh. The sun shining right on my face. So this is the only way I can keep the sun off my face. Is just to wear my hat. That's much better. What do you think, Momo? No, she don't like it. So for dessert, I decided to make these cookies that I got free with my foodies card. $7 value. These are called the Judy. And that's my mommy's name. They smell like orange. Ooh, these are going to be huge cookies. They're the size of a a roll. These are orange cream cheese cookies. Oh, but you only get one, two, three, four, five, six cookies, Daryl. Alrighty then. Don't eat them all at one night. Because that is a lot of cookie. They're like a dollar a cookie. That's like a dollar a cookie. Mm, those look good. Look at the bits of orange. And then here's the cream cheese with orange zest. Ooh, looks so good. It smells really good.
Don't those look good? Well, you know me, I have to eat mine with a fork. The frosting is really goopy. Mm. Have you had yours? It's good, huh? Very orangey. very orangey, but it's good. They're very rich. One ought to last you for the rest of the night, right? We'll see. Whatever, we each get three. Mmm. Mmm. So I have you on my selfie stick and I put the selfie stick between my legs and so I can just hold you up like this in my legs. So this is the bomb you guys. It's very rich, very creamy, very orangey but not in an artificial flavor way but in an awesome wonderful pillow of orange goodness. Mm. It's basically a sugar cookie. A dense, moist sugar cookie with orange in it. So I can certainly make my own, of course, but and I don't think I'd really pay what were these? Seven ninety nine? Six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, I don't remember. I wouldn't pay that for this. But since I got them free, heck yeah. Mm. They're amazing. Mm. So I'm sleepier than crap. I am so sleepy. And tired. What do you want? She wants my cookie. You better back off. You better back off. She always wants my cookie. But, yeah, and I'm just headachey. Today's just not a good day. So, I think I might even take tomorrow off and get things ready. Because we have big week coming up. Next week is going to be awful. Um, we can discuss that in closet time. It's closet time, everybody. Momo, come on down. Lola, come on down. You're the next contestant in the closet is right. Oh, you're first today. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, good girl. You make all of our customers happy. You're giving good customer service. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. How's everybody doing? Oh, I know you're doing good. You're doing real good. You are doing real good. Real good. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. <laughs> so
seriously, everybody, what would we do without butt sniff time? Oh, anywho, well, she's had enough. Oh. Oh my gosh, she's licking it. She licked it. That was gross, Momo. That was gross. I did not raise them to do that. I did not. Anyway, um, that cookie just put me under. It laid me flat. It was so heavy and rich and wonderful. It was very good. So one did me in. I ate three quarters of my quesadilla. I left one quarter. I left one piece and gave it to Daryl. I couldn't take it anymore. I was so full. I was like <clears throat> full, but it that's all I've had to eat all day long. I did have a half of a protein bar and that was it. Cuz I just wasn't feeling good and but I knew I had to eat something and so I just had a half of one of those and then my dinner. So I don't mind that I ate three pieces of quesadilla with some chips and guacamole and a cookie but now I feel like I never want to eat again for the rest of my life I am so full so I just took an Excedrin tension headache it's not not the migraine Excedrin but the tension headache it still has some caffeine in it but I'm desperate and it's nine o'clock at night and it's like hello I have to go to bed in a couple hours but anyway so let me give you the scoop about next week. My stepdad goes in for surgery on Monday. They are going to cut out the cancer that has been 90% healed through the little radiation pellets that they put in his liver. They have found two new cancers that are just like itty bitty pinpoint cancers. And so they're going to burn those off with a needle while they're in there. He will never be put on the transplant list. He will never be eligible. And this surgery is not going to cure him. It's just going to buy him some time. He could live for another year. He could live for two years tops. Um, or he could not live for even a year. It's just all hit and miss. And it's scary because... When he had his kidney operated on almost two months ago, because he had a lesion on it, they operated on his kidney to remove that, and he has been in severe pain for two solid months every day. Every day. You know, he's lost, I don't know, 70 pounds. He's skin and bones. He hardly eats. Um, anything he does exhausts him. I mean, when we went to Arctic Circle the other night for dinner, um, he couldn't even get up out of the seat, out of the booth. We had to help him up, you know. So, this surgery is nothing to laugh at, this new one. And he'll be in ICU for a day or two, and then after that he'll stay in the hospital for another week, maybe two weeks, depending on how well he heals. And then after that, he may have to stay in a rehab facility for a little while unless he can get his strength up because my mom certainly can't take care of him by himself. I mean, he, he needs to be able to use the bathroom and stuff, and if he doesn't have the strength to do that, my mom certainly doesn't have the strength to lift him. You know, he fell in the yard the other day. Daryl was mowing the lawn, so he didn't hear him. My mom was outside. Tracy! And I was in the house, and I looked out, and Doug's on his butt like this, and Mom's trying to pull him up. And so I had to help pull him up, and he was like dead weight. And he helped us get him up. So if he were to fall in the house, there's no way he'd be able to get up. There's no way my mom would be able to get him up. So, you know, that's where the nursing skills come in. I don't know, is that called hospice? I don't know. But 
we have to take things one day at a time and I know my mom she is going to um, sleep over with me for many nights they do have a cat and so she's gonna wanna maybe stay at her own house a night or two every now and then just to help her cat calm down because he knows something's up but for the most part she'll be sleeping here so I need to clean the house and make her bed. I need to strip it down and wash everything and dust and clean her bathroom. And I don't know if I'm like stressed out. I don't know if I'm anxious, I'm getting anxiety, or if I'm just stressed out because of all this that's happening. Maybe that's why my blood pressure was so high last week when I went to the doctor. I don't know. I'm just trying to take everything one day at a time and not worry and not fret and not have anxiety because I just, you know, I have to think to myself, I'm not alone. Daryl is with me. Heavenly Father's with me. Of course, I don't know how much he's with me. I'm not a very good Christian. I'm not a good Mormon, let's just say that. I don't go to church. We don't pay our tithing. We keep to ourselves. We've just become inactive, and I don't pray much. And it's not that I don't believe in my faith. I've just fallen away because I'm lazy. And I don't know what my mission on earth is. I'm wondering if it's patience. I'm wondering if it's to learn how to take care of others and stop being so selfish. I don't know. Maybe my mission is to rely on the Lord and pray to Him. Maybe it's to fall and then rise back up and get my butt in gear and get my crap together. I don't know. I'm going to go. I am so tired. I don't even think I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to take it off. I'm just going to sleep in and rest and then clean the house, get things done, and get things prepared. So, yeah. So, I'll be vlogging for another day or two, but Sunday I won't, I probably won't vlog. Monday I won't vlog for sure because that's when he goes in for surgery and then the few days after I don't know if I'll be vlogging or not it just depends on how long I'm at the hospital or what I'm doing or what's going on but anyway we'll just take it as it comes okay so thank you all so much for hanging out with me today <laughs> what are you doing in my closet time what are you doing in my closet time? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> so sure Ugh. just when I was ready to close it on up he snatches it out of me he was probably gonna come in and let a big fat fake fart which would have been two thumbs up for me but whatevs <laughs> all right have a wonderful sleepy everyone and we'll see you tomorrow good night